everyone coming into the school building from now on must sign in. This doesn't just apply to visitors coming to the school, it applies to everyone. Boarders can't just arrive when they want to and go straight to their dorms anymore. And boarders' parents have already received details of when and where boys should arrive this weekend. Staff have to swipe in and out each day and won't be using the same doors as the students. Day boarders will need to be checked in every morning. The only door that you may use is the door on the terrace leading to school reception. The door will open at 8.15. You will need to stay at least a metre away from the next person if there is a queue. You will be greeted at the door by one of the housemastering team. Sanitise your hands and you then need to check your temperature using the thermometer on the wall. Just stand with your forehead close to the sensor until you hear a beep. Don't touch it, just stand close to it and head towards the classroom area. If you aren't already wearing a face covering, put one on as you enter the building. Whether you are a full boarder or a day boarder, it is important that you observe physical distancing inside the building. So no huddles or pylons allowed. We've rearranged some of the furniture to make this easier and you will see signs all over the building reminding you to keep your distance. In order to limit movement and crowding, each year group has been assigned a particular zone in the school. You will remain in your zone for almost all of your classes. The students will stay put and the teachers will move around. You should sanitise your hands on your way into class. Desks have been placed one metre apart and you may not move them. You do need to wear a mask in class. Glenstall boys love their food. When the bell goes, they always like to get to the refectories quickly. But we need to organise how we go to meals differently from now on, so that we can keep everyone safe. We can't have as many people in the refectories as before, and we can't have crowds of boys standing very close together and pushing and shoving while they queue for food. Everything has to be served by the catering staff. We will all need to be patient. We will all need to take it easy and not rush. Meal times will be longer because we can't have everyone sitting down at the same time anymore and each place will have to be sanitised after one person uses it before the next person can sit there. And please observe the signs that the catering staff place on the tables. At lunchtime, some students will have to wait in the atrium for a while before joining the queue. So please cooperate with the staff on duty. When it is your turn to queue, the floor is marked so that you can keep your distance. There will be two lines, one for the junior refectory and one for the senior refectory. Stand on the circle on the floor and move from circle to circle as you approach the counter. It's very simple. If everyone is standing on one of the circles, we will all be at a safe distance. Keep your mask on until you are sitting down and ready to eat. And remember, just like the classroom, the tables and chairs have been arranged to keep everyone safe, so don't try to rearrange or move them. The health centre has always been an important place in the school. It is especially important at this time. The new nurses consultation and treatment room is bigger and brighter, with better ventilation and space for physical distancing. The beds and isolation rooms are across the corridor where they always were. You can only enter this area if the nurse tells you to. You must never ever let yourself in and go to bed in the health centre. For the purposes of cleaning and infection control and the safety of everyone, it is vitally important that all students observe this rule. In the same way, if a student is isolating in one of the rooms in the health centre, no matter how much you might like to, you must not visit him. If he is in an isolation room, He's there for an important reason, and you need to stay away. Only properly trained staff wearing the appropriate protection should approach someone who is isolating. But you can, of course, still visit the nurse as normal. It is important, if there is a queue, that you keep your distance from other students, standing on the circles marked on the floor and wearing your mask. The health centre opening hours are displayed nearby and in the houses. These are just some of the areas that you need to be aware of when school reopens. 
there are many other areas and activities where there will be some special regulations, such as dormitories, bathrooms, the sports hall, the gym. We can't include everything in a short video like this, but staff will explain all of these things to you in the first days of term, and if you cooperate with them, we'll all be safe.